<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. <laughs> Vegeta just trying to play it cool. Uh, last time. Well, I, I beat, like, four-fifths of the Ginyu Force. It, it was... It, it got kind of rough, not gonna lie. But uh, we, we managed, we managed. Anyway, today we gotta stop Frieza from making his wish with the Dragon Balls. Like, by forcing uh, Guru to tell him how to do it. But also, we still have Jace and Ginyu to deal with. So technically it was three-fifths of the Ginyu Force. Alright, sorry, I lied. You've got some real guts, you know that? Cap was gonna make you pay for what you did, dearly. So this is the guy, huh? His power level's around 5,000. Just like we said, makes no sense, right? Absurd. Relying too much on your scouter is a rookie mistake. Don't be a fool. Most likely, he has the ability to instantly increase his power. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000! Saints don't have that much power! Promising. This'll be an enjoyable battle, the first in a long time. All right, let's do this, Vegeta. You take that smaller guy over there. <laughs> well, I mean, he's the same height as you, Vegeta. And you are more or less equal in terms of power. If I'm lucky enough, maybe the two of them might take each other out. This is the end of the line for you. Farewell, Kakarot! Vegeta! <laughs> Here I go! And that's why you can't trust him. Why well, gotta do a double fight again? Man, they could, this is some more bullshit. Chase, I swear to God. Yeah! 
They're good at holding their breath. something about that too I have no idea what you guys are talking about S S Super Saiyan you mean you mean the legendary warrior no this cannot be is, is this guy really the only thing in the universe that even Lord Frieza is afraid of I don't know about that, but what I do know is that I'd like to avoid fighting if I can. That'll sound like the Goku I know. So listen up. Just leave the planet. I'm saying this for your own good. What? Are you joking? No, I'm serious. I don't want to kill you guys if I don't have to. I've heard that the Super Saiyan is the ultimate warrior. One that lives only for battle and bloodshed. I get it. You're not actually a Super Saiyan, are you? But be that as it may, your power is still far greater than my own power. <laughs> What's funny? Jace, take my scouter. What are you doing? That body of yours is pretty strong. Yes, and I think I'll take it. Change! That's why you don't stand still when someone is doing an attack you've never seen before. Ooh. That really deserved those S ranks. doing all the way over there we've made a trade your body is mine now hey captain here's your scout right now back to the ship it's possible lord frieza may have returned already <laughs> So this is why he damaged his own body. It all makes sense now. I'm in serious trouble. If I don't hurry, I'm... Wait, no. He's gonna meet up with Krillin and the others. That's it. Wait a second. Even if I make it back to Earth... Chi Chi probably wouldn't be all too happy seeing <laughs> the way I am right now. That's the first thing that comes to his mind. But also, I never really oh no, I think I was thinking about it a lot as a kid, like he seems Oh well, we're gonna have to wait for me to finish that thought. Until he's here. You must go, didn't they? And hurry. Those earthlings need you. Okay, I understand, but please don't die, Grand Elder Guru. I 
suppose I let this one live. There's no sense wasting my time with a single speck of dust. Dende, you were brave to fly right by him. What do you want? Greetings and salutations. My name is Frieza, and I've come to your humble little planet in search of the Dragon Balls. Fear not, as I have already managed to gather all seven of them. Though it would seem I am unable to draw upon their power. Which is what brings me to the lot of you. Tell me what I must do in order to grant my wish. I suggest you leave. We have no intention of telling monsters like you. I would be more forthcoming if I were you. Although I do not intend to kill you, I will use force if necessary. There are two of you, yes. I don't care which one of you it is, but one of you will tell me. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then we'll fight. But know this. Grand Elder Guru, the creator of the Dragon Balls, resides here. If you kill him, the Dragon Balls will disappear as well. Hmm? Neil, my son, you must hold him off as long as you can. Understood, my lord. I see. But I'm curious. Don't you wonder if he'll still refuse to tell me what I need to know when he sees that you're about to die? I won't go down as easy as you think. But we're not going to fight here. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much longer to live. Fighting here would only hasten his end. Oh, very well then. Oh my, that's quite impressive. You've somehow managed to raise your power level to 42,000. Such a feat for the likes of you. But just to give you a sense of scale, allow me to inform you of what you're truly up against. My power level, you see, is 530,000. Rest assured, however, I haven't the slightest intention of fighting you with my full power. How kind of me. That's enough! Dragon Balls. They're either hidden somewhere, or Frieza's holding on to them. Wherever they are, those Earthlings are sure to find them with that contraption of theirs. But before they get the chance, I must mask my power. They'll quickly realize I'm here otherwise. This should work. Once those runs summon that Shenron creature, I'll kill them and get my wish granted. It won't be long until I run into them. I should change into a new battle suit while I have the chance. Krillin! The Dragon Balls are over there! Gotcha! Let's go, Gohan! Mm, okay, all the Dragon Balls. Secure the remaining Dragon Balls in the spaceship. But, um, yeah, I was gonna say that, like, this was something I kind of always thought about, but, like, Captain Ginyu, is the Ginyu we see in, like, you know, the, the purple double-horned guy, you know, in the anime and all the games... Is that the OG Captain Ginyu, or is that just whatever body he's taken on now? And if that's the case, like, what does his original form look like? Because we saw there that he has no qualms about, like, harming the body that he's currently in, and then switching with someone he deemed stronger to take their power. 
So like, how many times has he done the body swap prior? And like, what does his original form look like? Just random thoughts I've had over the years. I guess the question is like, what came first, the Ginyu or the clone? <laughs> Thought I saw a ship in the sky. Maybe I, maybe I did. Maybe I'm, my mind's playing tricks on me. Anyway, radar showing that the Dragon Balls aren't in the ship, but somewhere near it. Looks like no one's around. Now's our chance to look for the Dragon Balls. They actually buried them in the ground. Huh. We've got all of them now. Ah, so that's where they are. Hurry and summon that Shenron creature, you fools. Once that thing makes an appearance, I'll trash the kids and finally make my wish for immortality. Porunga appears. Porunga appears. Nope. Here goes. Come forth, Shinron, and grant our wishes! Uh, nothing happened. What's going on? Where's... where's Shinron? Maybe the phrase you use is different to summon him here. Damn it. What the hell are those two doing? Quillen, someone's coming this way! <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. And they got some wicked power. One of them's that Ginyu guy. Does, does that mean my dad lost? <laughs> what the? Goku, did you beat Ginyu and befriend one of his men or something like that? Whoa, they dug up the Dragon Balls. How did you do that? What do you mean? Obviously, we used the Dragon Radar. The Dragon Radar? So, did you already make your wish? Well, it's the craziest thing. We tried to summon Shinron, but it just won't work. Uh, you know, there's something... Krillin is naive as you, hell. Though, can't quite place it. That's a scouter, isn't it? Why are you wearing one of those, Goku? Krillin! That's not my dad! Huh? Gohan, what do you mean it's not your dad? I, I don't know how to explain it, but I know it's not him. This body no longer belongs to that Saiyan. I couldn't resist its power, so I took it. Wait, what did you say? <sighs> hmm? You didn't you reveal that immediately in the anime, Gohan. right? <laughs> Made it this far. Remember, he kept up the deception a bit, and like they attacked Ginyu Goku. I am the mighty leader of the Ginyu Force, Captain Ginyu. <laughs> no, it can't be. That's my dad. He swapped bodies. All this really complicates things. <laughs> Go on, Trillin. I know you two have what it takes. To get rid of this guy. Don't hold anything back. Really let him have it. I can't. You're talking as if you think they can win. Remember, this is your body. Yeah, you're right about one thing. That's my body, not yours. As long as my mind is separated from it, you can't unleash the full power it's capable of. You fool. The great Captain Ginyu will not fall for such tricks! Let me join in the fight, Captain! I can totally make these low lives suffer! Trust me! Well then, if you're looking for a fight, why don't you try me on for size? Well, look who grew a spine. When did you... I 
I think the whole thing was like, oh, if anybody's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me, or something of that ilk. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, okay. Chill. Thank you. There is a lot of chaos going on. Is losing a little focus there, not gonna lie. Okay. Whoo. No, this can't be happening. Chase couldn't have been defeated so easily. You're next.
Poor frog. How to use the Dragon Ball. Tell me and I'll put an end to your suffering. I may not be able to kill that elder of yours, but you, on the other hand, are expendable. Consider this your final warning. Tell me how to grant my wish or die. <laughs> it's too late for you. D Dende. He's on his way to meet the Earthlings. He, he's going to tell them how to use the Dragon Balls. What? What? A little worm from before. You are merely wasting my time, weren't you? I'm not picking up a signal from the Ginyu Balls. No! All five of them couldn't have... They couldn't have all been defeated. No. Something must have happened between Vegeta, the Earthlings, and the Ginyu Force. And the Dragon Balls! No! The almighty Freezer will be the only one to make any wishes! Not lower life forms like you! Oh my god, please, please say it, please say it, please say it, please, please say it. This medical machine here. It should put you back in prime condition before you know it. Oh, and might as well give you some battle suits while we're at it. That way you'll at least be somewhat protected. Huh? Battle suits? You mean like that one? I'm disappointed. I don't really like how I wanted, I wanted them to say Mondo Cool. Whoa, Mondo Cool. That's oh, right, boys. Mondo cool. It feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. And these shoulder pads don't really get in the way. We have all sorts of room to move. Go on. We should head over to Guru's place while Goku's recovering. If we don't find out how to summon Shenron, then we came all the way out here for nothing. Right. Let's get going. Go find out how to activate the Dragon Balls. I am going to rest up before this fight with Frieza. Uh Okay. It's like they have so many other callbacks. Ooh, the magic words. Like so many other callbacks and references. You you, you couldn't give me Mondo cool. You 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 you, you couldn't do that for me. Wonder how long it's gonna take for my dad to fully That's recover. just one of the most like, just unintentionally funny things to ever happen in Dragon Ball. I hope he's not already at Guru's place. Uh, we got a side quest to do though. Oh, come on! They gotta be somewhere. The Frieza Force. Damn it, they found me. We have to take him out. You spot a mysterious Frieza Force soldier. Take him out before he does anything evil. <laughs> okay. 
Rogue Chief Malone. All right. You, you want to throw down? You really want to fight? Damn it. Well, okay, I guess we're fighting. And that was easy. All right. <laughs> no. Ow, ow, ow. Huh? This guy's a pushover. I give up, I give up. You guys win, just leave me alone. But, but, but what? You really gonna kick a guy when he's down? No, we're not gonna do that. So then leave me alone, would you? Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> wow, you actually listened to me. Wait, you guys aren't part of the Frieza Force, are you? I don't recognize you. Oh, right, you probably thought we weren't because of these uniforms. Jeez, you trying to trick me or something? I thought you guys were here to drag me back to the base. S sorry for the confusion. Well, just make sure it doesn't happen again, okay? <laughs> Seriously, man. Wait, why are we apologizing to him? What's the Frieza Force soldier doing out here? And why does the sight of other soldiers scare you? Like I said before, I thought you were trying to drag me back to the base. I'm a bit of a celebrity chef in the force. You guys have heard of me, right? I'm the famous Chef Malone. No, never never, never heard of you. Sorry, but we haven't heard of you. Whoa, what? Guess I need to get my name out there a little more. Whatever. The whole reason I joined the force was so I could get dispatched to this planet. You see, on Namek, I've got access to special fruits that can only be found here. <laughs> I really wanted to get my hands on some, so I snuck away from the forest to look for them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you were worried about being forced to go back. I had no idea Namek had fruit like that. Gohan, you were picking fruit for the... Oh, okay. You can see them for yourself if you help me out. I'm not pulling any tricks, I swear. What do you think, Krillin? Knowing you, I bet you really want to help this guy out, huh, Gohan? <laughs> Music to my ears. Thanks a bunch. Alright, so I'm looking for Yucker Melons, Ajisa Oranges, and Rollo Nuts. Um... So where can we find those fruits? If I knew, I wouldn't be struggling like I am. But according to the computer, the melons can be found in rocky areas. As for the oranges, you're not going to believe this, but they apparently grow on the roots of trees here. Isn't that wild? And the Rollo Nuts? Yeah, Rollo Nuts grow on trees in the highlands and ripen by falling to the ground and rolling away. So you'll probably find them in places down and away from the trees. No clue where that would be exactly. Possibly down and away from trees. Hmm, they could even end up rolling into the ocean. Yeah, maybe. You should check there, too. Anyway, find all the fruit and I'll give you a reward. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll find the three fruits and bring them back here. I owe you. Don't let me down. Better make this fast. Alrighty. So we're going to be looking, um... I think I can handle this. We are really going to be looking. I think I can handle this. Oh, never mind. We're, we're not going to be looking too far. How many more are left? All right, well, we got a yucker melon. Oh, 
shit. Oh, think I found it. Yeah, the Jisa Orange. All righty. Oh, I found it without too much trouble. There it is. I keep undershooting. Yeah, there it is. It shows up on the freaking screen. Alrighty, this um, I think it's hard. Can you even crack it open? Right. Let's see. This should be all of them. All right, time to head back. Okay. Thank you. Auto text. I have to hurry. Yeah, let's hurry up and get out before Gohan uh, drowns. Alright, and here we are. Hi. We're back! I think we found everything you're looking for. <laughs> Way to go, guys. Looks like you were the right people for the job. You handed over the item. Let's see. Yucker melon, one bite of its succulent flesh fills the mouth with the most delectable juice and sends your taste buds to another world. For most people, it's just a tasty fruit, but for a certain race, eating it gives them quite the rush. Wow, I had no idea. You yeah. didn't even have an idea what the fruit was before. A Jisa orange is almost overwhelmingly sweet fragrance is complemented with a fresh orange scent. Of course, the flavor is even better, and the soft skin is a delight to eat as well. Plus, it triggers a special reaction in the body that temporarily increases the power of whoever eats it several fold. But just like the yucker melon, the effect only applies to a certain race. Namekians. Uh, um, you keep mentioning a certain race. What race are you talking about? <laughs> you mean you haven't figured it out by now? Wait. That's right. I'm talking about my race. Oh. Malone ate the yucker melon and a Jisa orange. Ha! Uh oh. Wow. His key's way higher than it was before. See? I wasn't kidding before, and I mentioned the effects these fruits have on the body. Did, did we just get Kirby'd? I, I don't believe it. He tricked us. <laughs> this feels great. Now then, as for you two. <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to make <laughs> the ultimate fruit juice. <laughs> I thought he was about to turn on us. <laughs> My newfound power, I now have the strength to crack open this Rollo. <laughs> Amazing. That's right, I need the Yucca Melon and Jisa Orange to open the Rollo nut. But make no mistake, the melon will add a rich flavor to the juice and the orange's fragrant aroma will add a nice finishing touch to the beverage. This is the best. <laughs> Fruit juice. <laughs> He's tired. Uh, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I guess my body was extra sensitive to the effects of the fruit. Anyway, I finished making the juice. Here, please take it as a token of my gratitude for helping out. Gohan got the ultimate fruit juice. Thank you. <laughs> Phew, it took a lot out of me. I think I'm going to take a little break. I hope to come up with another tasty concoction using these ingredients. <laughs> this guy uh, really likes his food, huh? Yeah, I thought for sure he was going to fight us, though. <sighs> Same here. I actually started to charge my key. I mean, he clearly looked like he was scheming something. Yeah. And his laugh sounded really evil. Whoa, Why are you staring at me? Cut it out. I know I'm a famous chef, but you're making me blush. <laughs> the Frieza Force is full of some really weird people. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. That was a fun side quest. That was a fun one. But yeah, we're going to continue on with the story next time. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Goodbye.